I have new background! So this is where we stay over the weekends with Nate and I wanted to share with you how I designed this amazing room. This was the first room I ever designed so please keep that in mind while you're writing comments. It's not perfect, it's not even done but I think I have a couple of tips that might help you design your own room. When we got the info that we could take a room in this house, I just got so excited. I was like, oh my God, it's gonna be the best room ever. And then I started thinking about which kind of style I want to go for and what will this room mainly be used for. And I figured out it will be mainly used for sleeping and storage because we can store here all the things that we cannot store in our tiny apartment in Ljubljana. And then I started thinking what big furniture pieces we will already have or we would have to store here. And then I figured out that Nate has a lot of music equipment. He has the amplifier, the electric guitar. There's even another acoustic guitar that we still need to get here. And I decided I will design it around this music equipment. So I will make it like rockerish kind of style. Originally, we also wanted to use a lot of the pieces of furniture that were already in the house so that there was a lot of dark wood and stuff like that. And I thought, okay, I could easily incorporate that in some way, maybe paint some of the furniture. And then the first thing I did is I went to Pinterest. What kind of rooms I liked for what kind of vibe I was going for. And then I showed them to Nate and he was like, oh, I, I like this one, but you know, it's really hard to do those stripes on the wall. And I was like, don't you worry about that. I'm not looking at rooms like, like exactly how I'm gonna do them. I'm just looking for inspiration to see what can we then do in our own possibilities with our own budgets. And also when Nate was storing his all of his old stuff, I found a bunch of paintings he got from Ghana. And that was also the painting of this elephant that you see behind me. And when I saw this giant elephant, the picture is, it's like giant, it's huge. Um, and when I saw this picture, it just impressed me. It made such an impression for me that I just said, okay, this picture is going to be the main focus of this room. I'm gonna design everything around this picture. And as you can see, the wall is exactly the color that the darkest parts of the picture, picture are. I went to Bauhaus and I just went, okay, give me the darkest, blackest blue that you have. So they custom mixed it for me and then we repainted the back wall uh, dark blue and all the other walls are white. This room was previously freshly painted in green. It was a bit too much, you know. The most bright wall is painted black so it makes the room look like there's more of it, you know, like there's a shadow. The only thing I did not think about is that this dark color is extremely sensitive. Don't even think about putting your hands up there. No, it, it's gonna show. When we get the Pinterest board all together, then I took the measurements of the room and then I put everything into Room Styler, which is an online based program that you can do to like draw your room, design it how you want it. It makes like a 3D model so you can see um, what will fit in your room and what will not. So when I first uh, started designing this room, I figured out it's quite small if you want to fit a big bed here. And even if you don't want to fit a big bed here, you have these power outlets on both sides that actually this is where the bed has to be. You actually don't have any other options. So I put the bed here on the model. It looked like from the bed to the closet, there is not enough space to have um, normal opening doors and that we absolutely need sliding doors. I knew that's gonna drive our budgets through the roof, but I said that I'm very confident and then we can do this within the budget. But then I figured out I have a lot of room there. I could have a reading corner down there and I would be bothered by nobody quietly reading in my corner and we still have enough room to put a writing table in that corner. So that's exactly how I planned it. I put everything on a budget and I saw where can I spend a bit more and where can I spend a bit less. 
and then we started hunting for furniture. My first idea was to go to Ikea and to customize um, the pack system that they have and to customize their, um, our own wardrobe. I have everything planned out. We just needed to go there and get the closet. It would be about 400 euros. So when I was communicating with my dad, where could we drive to Ikea? Because the closest Ikea is like 90 kilometers from Ljubljana. He said just like, okay, but before we go, just go through all the stores that you have in Ljubljana and maybe try to find try to find some closets with sliding doors because they can be quite cheap sometimes and the Kia's pack system no, are known to be quite pricey because you can actually customize everything yourself um, and I was like okay let's try and find something similar so we went to about six to eight stores and I was going crazy I was like we will never find a closet that would fit the measurements and be uh, within our price range at least somewhere in our price range and then we came to Depot where we saw this closet and it was accompanied by this bed and those two side tables all for 280 euros. Once you have a 3D model, it's really easy because you know what you need. You just go from store to store and see where can you find the cheapest things for the best quality and the ones that suit you best. Um, so we got the picture framed, we got the furniture. Um, the red chair was actually from, uh, was already from here. So we just took that. The last thing we got were the fluffy rugs. I always wanted to have a fluffy rug. We still need to buy the writing table, but I think we saw one in Yisk that is pretty much where we want it. We still have a couple of budget left. We just combined everything that we are into this one huge beautiful minimalistic bedroom that I really like and I really feel good in it. Um, it's still missing some tiny details that would make it like really our own so it's still a work in progress. My next challenge will be cable organization so if you have any tips on cable organization please tell them in the comments down below I would be thrilled. <laughs> Bye! <laughs>